We are now going to talk about creating handouts for the students. So first, you, you will have to know where to get the uh, PowerPoint slides that we're creating the uh, handouts from. So everything is in our Athens library. Let's go there. All right, so we go to Athens on the D drive and uh, we go to slide source. This is where all of the uh, the uh, formatted and, and finished slides are kept. So then you navigate to the uh, specific um, class that we're working on. So let's say it's Okra 10 and you copy all of these down to your computer do not do not work over the land do not work in athens in the library ever so it's simple just highlight them drag them off to your uh, desktop <clears throat> or into a folder that you have prepared for this so it takes a little bit but not not that long Yeah, still waiting. Okay, so in the meantime, let's go for the first one, number one. And it is here. We'll open it. And the first thing you do is you rename it. This way you know that you're not going to override it. And we also know that you're the one that had um, possession of this, this this set of slides last and when that was so um, we're doing a save as <clears throat> excuse me and then we're going to change the date and the, the initials so today is the 20th and my initials are them Okay, put that in the same place where you dragged off the uh, the original source files. Okay, now um, I'm going to close this one because I have um, hijacked a smaller one to demonstrate because these guys already have the uh, handouts finished for them. Um, so. Let me go back to the uh, my slides here. So <clears throat> make sh I need to make sure I didn't forget anything. So first you go to the the Athens Library, go to number twenty slides source uh, folder and find your files there. Rename them, change the date, add your initials. Okay, next. Next, we kind of scan through the, um, the slide presentation and we're looking for things that are going to cause some problems in our handouts. So for example, what you're looking for is um, text that is all, almost invisible because somebody changed the color scheme and didn't account for text that was uh, manually changed and we're looking for shapes that might have slipped um, just some, anything that looks out of place especially be looking for embedded documents um, you will you will probably find um, presentations that have spreadsheets embedded what happens is when you when we put those into the virtual classroom, those slides will show up as blank and students get very upset when they see blank slides because they don't know what they're missing. So <clears throat> let me uh, let me demonstrate this now. Okay, I'm going to close this one first of all. So this is <clears throat> this is my demo. 
and uh, it was one of the meeting greets and, and I kind of messed with it so don't think this is what it really looks like so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the slide sorter this way I can very quickly run through here so it looks like all of this looks decent whoops why is there a black bo a, a box like that here we'll have to take care of that and this might be a spreadsheet let's see anything else um here we uh, have covered up the um the title so we might want to fix that and we've got an an image here that's over the text that probably isn't going to look very good so those are some of the things we we take a look that they might be intentional the way they are but you know just take a quick look so let me show you what to do with with the uh, embedded spreadsheet the way you can tell it is an something embedded is when you click on it whoops here you see this line, this outline here? That means that this is actually an Excel spreadsheet and we need to take care of this. So how you do this, you right click, you cut it, and then whoops, you paste it in place as a picture. And there you go. You're going to have to adjust a little bit, maybe move it around a little. But now, this is an image and it will show up. Okay. <clears throat> and we're back to the slides. So the next thing we do is we create the handouts master. And, uh, well, I'm going to try to leave the directions open over here while we're working on this one. Uh, we're going to have to make that smaller so you can see what we're doing. Okay, so to make a handouts master, you go to view and handout master. Okay, so this is the standard. This is how it comes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this text box. We don't want the date on there. This is an automatic automatic generated automatically generated date. So this is going to change every time we touch the, at this document. So let's get rid of it. Delete. Now in here in this header text box is where we put our main header for the handouts so this would be the session in this case session one and the title um, so in this case let's make it meet and greet okay um, what you do is you um, you can probably if it's a long title just highlight it in the presentation and then paste it in here Okay, now we don't want this ending up at the top corner there where you can barely see it. So we want to put it on the right side so when people uh, leave through their handouts, they can easily find it in quickly. And uh, so we're going to put this box over here and we're going to line it up approximately with, the, with this edge and we're going to make it right right aligned so for this we have to go to home and right align we probably can put this box just a little higher and i'm using the arrow keys there i think that looks pretty good okay next we'll work on the bottom uh, <clears throat> so let's go back to our uh, instructions here so delete the text box type or paste the session number and the session title into the header text box and right align it okay move the header text box to align with the slide we've done that and now we do the bottom so in the footer text we put in copyright and the, the copyright sign, which is you make a left parenthesis, 
a small c, right parenthesis, and it turns it into the copyright symbol. And we put 2015 or whatever the appropriate date is. So that one's good. Now we will have to insert our Grabber logo. So um, file, oops, <laughs> sorry, go to, go, go to home. And hang on a second, where is my insert? Ah, here, insert tab. Okay, so you want to insert a picture. And uh, I keep my logos in my all files in my current folder. So I have really quick, quick access to it. There are my logos, grab our logos. Let's navigate to one that I like. This one's good enough. And insert. See how huge it is? Now resize this grabber logo and this is the best place to do it see right now it is almost two inches high and six inches long so make this one inch and there you go now we're going to put the grabber logo down here right about here so it lines up with the left side of the slides and then we're going to take our copyright text box and we'll move it next to Grappa. Now you might have to fiddle with this a little bit to get it right. Uh, by the way, if you hold the control key while you're using the arrow keys, you have more control. It, it doesn't jump as much. Okay, and um, then the other thing we need to do is move the, sli the slide number which is this thing here, up to where the rest of it is. So we'll come up here and we come to line up with the edge over here. This should probably look pretty good. So this would be our master. Um, and now let's make sure, let's move this a little bit. Let's make sure that our instructions are following along here. Okay, so we said insert the grapple logo and we uh, left align it, we move the, foot, the footer box, blah, 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 text box to align, close, and now we can close the master. Okay, so this is up here, close master. All right, now we're back to the presentation. So let's go back over here and see what's next. Ah, yes, we take a look at our handouts to see what they look like in when, when we're printing them. So you um, go to File. I am going to have to put this out of the way more. File. Come on, there you go, print. Okay, now I've got the print win a window open and I don't want to print slides individually. What I want to do is print the handout. So you click on the full page slide and it gives you the drop down box. And we generally choose six slides horizontal. Now, what this horizontal means is slide number one is here, and then across from it is slide two, then slide three down here, slide four. Um, whereas with uh, the vertical, the slides would go down one, two, three, and then back up four, five, six. So we go for the horizontal. So this is what it, what our slides are going to look like, but we do not want to make them in color. We want to make them in black and white. Now, here's what you need to be careful with. There is a grayscale. If you use that, notice how it's kind of dark still. And uh, if there are um, big, big blocks of uh, big images, they may turn out nearly black, which you can see on this one here. 
let's see the second page. Um, yeah, not too bad. I mean, some of these are really, really bad where you cannot see, you, ca you can't even see text at all. But this looks pretty good. But now let me show you what happens when you go to pure black and white. There. Now, this is going to be nice and clean and legible when we print it. Go back to page one. Make sure you take a look at these now in in this uh, view so that you can see if there is uh, if there's something that needs fixing if there is a, a title bar that is completely black or um, see here's this uh, this object that was so dark before so I would now be okay let's do it so <clears throat> we're going to escape out of this this um, print function and now let's see where where this is the easiest is just go back to your slide sorter it's very quick there it is open it let's see why is this thing there i can't touch it so it must be under master but surely this should not be here so um i'm going to take a look at the master so view and I don't want the, the handout master this time because this is this is on a uh, slide. So we go to the slide master, and sure enough, now I can grab it and I can delete it and close the master view. And now I can uh, see see the text over here. That's just because I hijacked this. Uh, this presentation the the original it does not look like this okay so now we'll do it we'll do it again we'll go to print now my my handout master is still there nothing's changed here so now let's see if uh, if this looks good and there's page two and everything's looking fine to me so now we go ahead and print this. Oops. Now I made a mistake. I it wants to print to my regular printer. And that's not what I wanted. So let me just stop this printer. Okay. What I want to do is print PDFs. See, this is what happens when I don't refer to my notes over here. So <clears throat> we uh, we took a, we selected six slides horizontal. We went to pure black. We uh, checked for dark and unreadable areas and other uh, possible problems. The next step then is to create the PDF copies. So let's uh, let's try it again. <clears throat> All right, we go to File, Print. Okay, here is where we need to change the printer. So right now I have it on my Epson, and you click the drop down and select Adobe PDF. Okay, see how it, how it changes again from the pure black and white we had to color. So we have to now take a look and make sure that everything is still the way we want it. So we're changing the color to pure black and white. And we want one copy of this to Adobe PDF. And it looks good. And now we say print. And it is over here, you can see it is generating our PDF right now. So in the meantime, let's take a look over here. So you select Adobe PDF from the printers. You make sure it hasn't changed from your black and white setting and you save it. Okay, this is where we have to come over here now. And 
we we need to now save this. So um, I have on my desktop. I have. I have. Okay, need, this needs to come away. Uh, I created a um, a folder on my desktop here. This is where I have my handout demo, and I'm going to just overwrite this one. Yes, in this case. Make sure you don't just overwrite. Um, save it with the same name as your presentation, which would probably have the session number and title. Okay. This is, uh, oh, it's done already. Let's take a look at it now. Okay. Make this a little smaller so we can see. All right, this looks good. We're down to page two, looks good as well. And now I can uh, close this one. So now, um, let me come back over here to my instructions. Next thing says, while you're here, before you finish this process, you might as well print off some handouts for the teacher book. Um, so just print these on one sided, don't double, double side them, one sided, print them off, uh, use the whole three hole punch to get the holes in it and then put them into a three ring binder and have a divider page with the session numbers and that's for the teacher. But back to the students now. The students need uh, the student handouts need to have a watermark to uh, secure the grappa in in IP. So <clears throat> um, here we go now. Well, I'm going to show you how to do this. So you go to tools. It opens up a, a box on the side here and. Under here, under edit page design is watermark, and we don't want to update or remove a watermark, we want to add one. So add watermark. Okay, that opens up this box here. So what we want to do here in the text box, we type grappa. We'll put a hard return, an empty one, so an empty line. Then we type grappa again, space over a little bit again, and I'll show and you'll see why we're doing it this way in a minute. And again, leave one uh, row empty and try, type grappa one more time. Okay, so then uh, the font we select should be the Arial Black. This in this case it's Arial Black bold, and. Uh, you have to center it, otherwise it's going to go wacko. And the size, uh, this only goes up to 72, I believe. Yes, 72, but what we want is, let's make sure I have it over here. Size is 90. And you need to type it in because you can't just select it. Okay, the next thing we want to do is, oh, by the way, once you type this in, you have to click off of it somewhere. Like, you know, click in a different, um, in a different box. Um, so the next thing is you want to rotate what we have typed. So go with the 45 degree angle. And now you see why we typed the grappas the way we did. This way they're nicely covering each one of the uh, handouts and it looks pretty nice. Um, but we want people to be able to read the slides still. So we need to create an opacity of 15%. Now you can slide this bar over or what I, what I prefer is just I type in 
fifteen percent. And then again, you have to type, you have to click off somewhere in order for this to take. And make sure that the um, watermark appears on top of the page, not behind. It makes no sense to have it behind. Okay, this is it. So before I go on, before I click OK to create the watermark, I want to tell you about a little shortcut. I'm going to come over here. Okay, so what you can do, you see down here it says apply to multiple. You can actually prepare all of your handout PDFs for all of the sessions. And then when you, when you put your watermark on session one, you can say apply to multiple and it the software will then take you to your file and you just select all of them and apply. So let's say OK. We're going to close this box here. All right, fine. There, this is what it looks like with a watermark. And... Uh, this is it now. So now you save it again and you put it back into the library in, under the handouts. And thanks for paying attention.